Hi everyone, this is Mike at Brush Monkey, and this tutorial is going to quickly show you how to uh, trigger the sound effects that you have set up in your Spider animations to actually play back automatically in your Construct2 game projects. And as you can see here, if I drag this timeline up, there's a sound sample that's triggered here, just so you can preview that in Spider. So we're going to bring this Spider file into Construct2 and show you how to trigger that sound. So here's a brand new, currently empty Construct2 project. And all I'm going to do is make myself some room here and drag this Spriter SCML file into uh, the Construct2 canvas and choose the first event sheet. Click OK. That's all imported. And uh, as you can see, don't forget, I also have the same file saved out in SCON format as well. Construct2 currently needs both. And uh, it's going to bring up this dialog asking if I want to import the sounds as well. And I choose Import. Click OK. And now it tells me um, that it's successfully imported, basically. Click OK again. And now I have the Spriter file here in Construct2. And it doesn't matter where any of this stuff is, uh, it's going to get sort of reassembled into um, the actual animation. But this box here is where the actual spider object is, so I'm just going to make sure that's relatively centered on screen. And uh, going into the event sheets, I know the animation that I want to show you that has the sound triggered is called swim, with a lowercase s. So I'm going to, uh, immediately upon its uh, initialization, I'm going to uh, set the animation to swim. So if I run this, you'll see that the animation, let me drag it, sorry, I'm using two screens, two monitors, and it's uh, sometimes the windows are appearing in the wrong window. Uh, so you can see the animation is playing back, but there's no sound yet. So all I have to do to get the sound to play back in Construct2 as well is to add an event. And this event is going to, oh, I just remembered. First I have to add a, an audio object. There we go. Now that that's added, I'm going to add an event and it's going to check if, if I scroll all the way down here under sounds, on sound triggered. So turtle on sound triggered, and then my action is going to be play by name, and under which name, uh, we are going to simply check the sp turtle spriter uh, object again, and check which sound was triggered. This will retrieve the name that we need. So it doesn't matter how many different sounds you're triggering at any one time or throughout your different spider animations, this one event will handle all of them and you can tag them if you want. We'll call these turtle sounds in case you ever want to mute just the turtle sounds or affect them in any way. And that's how you would do that. And now you'll see when I run this again, There you go, now the sound's playing back perfectly just as it was in Spryder. And that's it for now, thanks a lot for watching.